So I'm going to do a quick follow up here uh, to my other video uh, that was just me rambling about installing this uh, Unify UNVR. Uh, I'll make this one a little shorter. Um, mostly on performance issues. I've lived with it for several days now. Um, so I'll go through that real quick. Again, this is um, more performance, how, it, how it's different than the NVR20 that was running Unify video that I bought from Crosstalk Solutions. Uh, obviously, the NVR20 from Crosstalk was, um, was a much more uh, robust machine um you know it was a it was an intel processor i think it's an i5 in there maybe it's an i7 um uh, 16 gig of ram you know had an nvme drive in it uh so it was certainly a, a higher performance device uh and i knew that the unvr wasn't as as um uh, loaded uh with performance but i figured there was no really a very small operating overhead uh, to take away from that on like Windows and bloatware that you get with Windows and all those other applications that are usually on there. So I figured that that would um, make up for the performance uh, issues that I figured were there. It's anecdotal. I didn't do like iPerf uh, speed tests or, you know, time tests or anything like that. I, I rebuilt the NVR20 anyway, so... Uh, I couldn't even do tests against it at this point. Um, anecdotally, it seems like it doesn't perform as well. The the Unify uh, UNVR perform as well as a purpose-built server, which I guess makes sense. Um, is it an acceptable performance decrease? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I do I do get camera dropouts, uh, and it could be a software issue too. It could there could be it could be glitchy. Still, Unify Protect could be a little glitchy still, which maybe it is. Um, maybe that'll get fixed with more updates. Uh, you know, sometimes it's odd. I don't know. These things seem to stabilize <laughs> after they run a while. Uh, IT magic, I guess. Um, so maybe it'll stabilize out. Maybe these, you know, I'll get less camera dropouts. Um, but so far, I don't find the performance as good. Uh, now, this, uh, again, it's 23 cameras running on this UNVR. Ah, see, as I come upstairs, uh, I was talking about camera dropouts. Here we go. Here's perfect, another perfect example, right? So, I don't know why this particular camera, uh, seems to go out on me. And that never happened with the, with the server, with the, uh, NVR, uh, NVR20 PC. Uh, and this is happening with the it's either a protect it's either a unify it's either a unify protect issue because obviously the server was running unify video so it's either a unify protect issue or it's a um or it's a or it's the, the unvr issue not sure which yet um yeah it's there's definitely some glitches and performance problems i think uh, again it's anecdotal i'm well this is an anecdotal you, you can actually see that that camera dropped out on me Never did it before. Uh, never had an issue with that camera before. So, um, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Computer up above my counter up there, uh, shelving up there. So as you can see, you know, I have cameras that dropped out over the night. Uh, and this is this is typical. You know, this is a uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's a fifteen camera view. Uh, this freezes up sometimes, drops out. I get this, or sometimes I get, uh, oddly enough, the garage camera sometimes just blacks out. Uh, that never, I can't imagine it's the camera because that never happened with the, um, with the NVR20 server, the PC server. Uh, so these are just some experiences I've had. Uh, the Unify account that this is set up sometimes logs out on its own. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a log out timing issue that I can find online somewhere. But, uh, but, all right, so I came home to this screen today. Another uh, Unify Protect issue. Again, I don't know if it's Unify Protect or if it's the UNVR. I changed both, so I don't know. I never had a problem with Unify Video or the server. Now I have 
UNVR and protect and this is what is on the screen. One camera, everything else is blank. So I imagine I'm gonna have to refresh it and then uh, then it comes up for a little while again. <sighs> All right, this isn't a, a, a test install, right? I'm not running, uh, this isn't on its own VLAN um, with nothing else running on it or, or, uh, or on a test bench or, or, a, or a test lab cert in a rack. Um, again, running four or six cameras. Um, you know, if people are thinking about putting the, like selling these as, as, as a client solution, um, it's not stable. It's not stable. <laughs> it's not stable. Uh, uh, if you were to put, if you were to sell this as, as a business and sell this to someone, like if I purchased this from someone and had them install it in my home, I would have already been on the phone with them at least five times. Uh, and I would be expecting them to fix this problem or take this thing out and put it back to the way it was. Yeah, I don't think this is a commercial, this is not a commercial solution for uh, unified security camera installs um, unless I got a unless I got a lemon I could have got a lemon who knows could have got a lemon um, but I, I think before anybody goes in and sells these as a as a solution to install for customers as a paid service man you better stress test the shit out of this thing because I don't think I'm stress testing it and I'm already getting glitchy problems with it. Um, so if you're gonna hook up, if you're gonna hook up uh, SFP and uh, fiber, you know, you're, you're gonna lose that much space behind you. Uh, I did measure it. It winds up being, I think you're gonna need 15 and a half, now I gotta measure it again. I think you're gonna need at least at least uh, 15 and a half inches it looks like yeah it's all the way to the back yeah 15 and a half inches to be safe so with the power cord and the fiber you'll need 15 and a half inches uh, to be safe from the front of this to the back if you have a hard back this is a um, Novi point um, wall mount uh, rack so uh, and then if you're going to have a door or something on the front of it, you'll know you need that much more space. Um, that much more space to uh, make sure these don't hit. All right. So, so uh, I went out and I bought, um, you know, I bought some aluminum um, one by one uh, aluminum square stock. And so that's in there. Uh, that, and then that's bolted in with, um, with a one inch bolt that fit the capture nut. Uh, the normal capture nut that most people have on their racks. Uh, so that's my experience so far. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll keep working with it. Uh, you know, it's I guess it's sort of still beta, right? Uh, I know they're I know they're actually selling it on the actual the UNVR. I know they're actually um, selling it uh, now. I think it's not in early access. I think they're selling it on the UBNT store, so uh, I don't know how beta it is, but um, uh, you know what? I'm, I'll fight through it. Um, but I don't think it's ready for prime time. Uh, it's, it's my experience anyway. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, your mileage may vary. You know, uh, you're going to buy something. Uh, this early in the uh, development process, um, I guess you got to expect some glitches. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'll fight through them. Thanks for watching.